Example two is similar. We're still doing composition of function. We want to find the explicit equation each time because that's going to help us find the domain. In this question, they're not asking us to find the range, just the domain. So again, what does function notation mean? We do the inside function first, f of x, and the function f of x says whatever you plug in, do 1 over that number plus 3. So if you plug in an x, you do 1 over that number x plus 3. Then g of x says whatever you plug in, square it, and minus 4 times it as well. So if I plug in 1 over x plus 3, y equals y equals 1 over x plus 3, that whole thing will get squared, minus 4 times 1 over x plus 3. Okay? And technically, I would lose an E1 mark here. I should have said instead of y equals, g of f of x equals. Or I'd have to say let y equal g of f of x to start with if I'm going to introduce a new variable. Determine explicit equation. We are done. Here's our explicit equation. I'm going to use the initials EE for that. What's the domain? Well, for the domain, we have to check, are there any x values that don't work? What are things we're not allowed to do? Not allowed to divide by 0. Not allowed to take square root of negatives. We don't have any square roots here, but we are dividing. Can you see that there's a value that would cause us to divide by 0? So our domain will be that x can't equal negative 3. Can you see that x can't equal negative 3 in the explicit equation? Can you see that x can't equal negative 3 earlier as well? And that's going to be something that comes up. It's not OK just to check the explicit equation. You have to check everywhere to see were there any non-permissible values even earlier that I have to consider. So in part b, f of g of x, do the inside first, would be f of x squared minus 4x. And then what does f do? Whatever you plug in, so f of g of x will equal, whatever you plug into f, you do 1 over that and then add 3. So this is our explicit equation. When finding the domain of that equation, are there any values that make us divide by 0? Well, we might want to factor the bottom. The bottom factors nicely to x plus 3, x plus 1. Are there any non-permissible values? Yes. So our domain, x can't equal negative 3, and x can't equal negative 1. Six D for practice.